What's going on everyone? This is Dustin Stelzer with another episode of Electrician U and today we are going to talk switch loops. So in today's episode, what I want to do is set up a switch loop, show you how it's wired. Uh, I have another video coming out that will explain on a whiteboard how the circuitry actually works. Um, so you have more of a visual representation of how all this stuff's going to work. But today we're going to talk about how to wire a switch loop. So a switch loop is something that you would use, um, say you have a door switch and you have a door that when you want that door to open, whatever's on the other side of that door, you want the light to come on automatically. So normally you would notch out something and you would put this, uh, run a wire over here and then once the door is installed and uh, you're ready to, to trim everything out, you would put this little plunger, this is basically a switch. But the problem is you can only ever run one wire from here somewhere. And that's how you, that's the two conductors that you have to use to be able to switch this light on. So with a regular switch, what you would do is you'd run an incoming hot to the switch from some kind of other hot somewhere or from a panel or whatever. You'd run a hot to the switch, then you would run a switch leg from here up to the light. And those are the only two wires that you would run. You would wire nut your neutrals and put your neutrals in the back of the box and you would hook the neutral up up here. So you have a hot that comes all the way in, goes through the switch up to here, and you have a neutral that comes all the way and goes back to the panel. You have a complete loop. Well, you can still get a complete loop um, wiring a switch loop. So what a switch loop is, is instead of running a hot to your box first for your switch and then running a leg up to the light, you actually run your hot to your light first and then you run one piece of 12-2 that goes down here. And your white wire is no longer a neutral, it's just a conductor. It's just another conductor. Um, a lot of people will tape it black so you'll have two wires down here, but it's utilizing the fact that a switch doesn't need a neutral. You don't need neutrals down here. They always just get folded in the back of the box and they pass through the box. So we're going to instead use that white conductor as a switch leg or as a hot. Um, so let's begin. I already ran one wire that goes from my switch box up to my light. So what we have to do now um, is run a hot. So this is going to be an incoming hot from God knows where. So what I'm going to do is run the hot, um, I don't know, say we're coming off of a plug somewhere. That's where our hot's coming from. That hot wire is also going to go up into this light, and this is the first stop that we take. There's no reason that I have this wire run out. It was just already there, so I already ran it there. So for now, just don't pay attention to that wire. So, those are the only two wires that we need still. <coughs> it's just the order of which we do them. So we have a hot wire that comes in, it bypasses this switch, it's not in there at all. It just comes in, goes right up to the light, and then we have our second wire that comes down into this switch. And that's all the conductors that we need. So what I'm gonna do, to make this a little bit easier to understand, is I'm gonna put wire labels on everything so that you guys can actually see uh, up close what's going on. So I'm gonna strip this out. I'm going to label um, I'm going to label the incoming power with the word power. 
And I don't do this out in the field, and most of the guys, actually none of the guys that I do label this this way. I'm just doing this for the video's sake, for you guys can see which wires are what. So the new wires that I just ran in are going to be my incoming power. So I'm going to put a tag that says power on the hot and the neutral. And then I'm going to take one more tag. And I'm going to label that one loop. So that you all understand which wires are which. Because you just have two blacks, two whites, and grounds up there. Alright, so first thing that I'm going to do is just get our uh, grounds out of the way. We still do need to join our grounds together. First thing I'm going to do is just get our grounds out of the way. We still need to join the grounds together, making sure that since this is a metal box, we have our ground screw in there, and one of these grounds is wrapped around that ground screw. Um, very important part. I'm just going to clip the excess off of there, making sure that I have at least three inches of that joint sticking out per code. And in this, uh, this particular situation, I don't need a ground. Um, most light fixtures are going to need a ground, but uh, since I'm hooking up a keyless, this keyless only has a gold and a silver screw on it, so there is no place for a ground. It's a ceramic fixture, so there's no metal part on here that you could touch. Um, so it doesn't need a ground. But I'm putting the ground together and ripping it out as if you were going to put that on the fixture. So now you can see up in the light, I've actually got my incoming power here and I've got my switch loop right here. And then down in this box, I've got a black and a white wire. So again, this white wire that comes up in here is from the loop side. This is not a neutral, this is just a white conductor this is our incoming power so this is our neutral that's the only neutral that's a part of this entire situation all right so what we want to do is deal with our incoming power first because i think it's just an easier way to identify what's going on so we've got a black and a white this is hot and neutral what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take our white wire that's our 12 2 that goes down to the switch below we're going to take our white wire and hook it up with the black incoming power Once we get that connected, we're done with that. There's nothing else to do. Now, what we have left is a black and a white wire. These are the black and white wires that we're going to hook up to our light fixture. So what's going on is we ran our incoming power into this wire nut, and then coming out on the white wire, we're going to send that white wire all the way down to our box. And this is going to be the hot side of our switch. And then this black wire is going to be the leg. So this will switch the leg, go all the way back up here to this black uh, conductor right here. We don't do anything with this white wire. The hot, the, the main neutral that's coming in this box, the white conductor that says power, this is our neutral that goes back to the panel. So we have a hot for our light fixture to hook up to and a neutral for it to hook up to. And this whole joint just gets moved out of the way completely. So you have two wires left over. All right, so first thing that we're going to do is hook the ground wire up to our switch. Next, we're going to use this white wire, like we said a minute ago. White wire is not a neutral anymore. It is now our hot. So we're taking this white hot conductor and we're going to hook it up to the switch. doesn't matter which side of the switch, but I like to always run my hots on the bottom side just for consistency so I know when I'm troubleshooting something that I've wired that I can rely on that bottom screw to be my hot. And last thing to do 
is deal with our switch leg. This black wire is the switch leg that's going to send the power back up to the light to turn it on. Now the final step is to put our light fixture up there. Um, there's not a lot of space in this. Uh, in, a, in a job site, you're not going to use a pancake to do this. You're going to use like a full-size box. But I didn't have a full-size box in my garage, so this is what we're using. Um, just to illustrate the, the how-to, this is not code because this has a certain cubic inch uh, volume to it. It's 6.0 cubic inches, so you have to add up the value of every one of these wires. There's way too many wires in this box. This is not to code. Again, just illustration purposes. So I am going to bend a hook on my neutral, bend a hook on my hot, hook my neutral to the silver screw, my switch leg up to the gold screw. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. That's a switch loop. Um, we can turn our light switch on, see that the light works. Um, again, just a, a very quick review about how this works. The idea is instead of running a hot to a switch, um, you're running your hot, you're running your power up to the light first, up in the ceiling. A lot of really older houses are done this way. It's just the, the wiring method that they used to do. They'd run all of their home runs up into the ceiling and hit different light boxes, and then they would spread out throughout the house and run down to switches. So um, switch loop again is just running a hot and a neutral up into a box leaving the neutral up there neutral just stays there because the only thing that needs it is the light neutral does not need to come down to a switch so you just run a black and white conductor down so you have a black or you have a, a white down for your hot and then you have a black as a switch leg back up and that's how it works it's pretty um, pretty easy to understand once you can see how all of it works. So the next video you're going to watch, uh, there's going to actually be another schematic version where I'm going to get over here on the whiteboard, draw everything out and talk about, you know, how it actually works visually a little bit different way. So uh, you may need to watch this again if it's really difficult for you to understand. And if you don't understand, definitely feel free to get at me, leave some comments below um, or, you know, get at me on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or wherever. I love you guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next episode.